you're probably wondering why I'm here, and uh, it's because a couple of hundred years ago, uh, I slipped my wrist and I survived, uh, fortunately. And now I'm here to tell the story. Uh, it's, uh, it's really hard for me uh, to talk about this because it's something personally I never really wanted to uh, talk about it because I'm comfortable to talk about it until this day. I am, especially with the crowd. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, yeah, um, I remember what I was going through that time, it wasn't really something that, that you know uh, is happening to you, you just feel it. At that time, you're denying everything that, uh, that's triggering it. Of course, now I know it's triggering it to this day. But I do know. And at that time, I was just really lucky. I had two friends. Sorry. I'm an actor. I'm just crying. But um, I had two friends who were beside me. Beside me when it happened beside me at the hospital when I got discharged and they were actually the reason why I'm actually still alive today. Uh, so a year ago One of, the, one of my friends who, who was there, his name is Evie, by the way, he, he hanged himself, kneeling down at the base, who wanted it. And the night before, he messaged me. He messaged her group chat, actually. He said, uh, Parang hindi ko na kami. I was at work then. And now, now we work for the hours. We finish early in the morning. So I said, um, I brushed it off. I said, bike mo na lang yan. I lent my bike so I could bike around. So I bike mo na lang yan. The next day, he, yeah, he, he died. And just something I can't which is so hard because uh, when I needed someone a click of a finger they're there they're either to make me happy to drink with me to help me find something to do which I'm uh, but that one message at one time when my friend needed me the most I wasn't able to do anything and the, the feeling still haunts me, lingers around me maybe that's also the reason why I'm here in front of everyone now really uncomfortable um, talking about these kinds of stuff especially with a big crowd but uh, I think it's about time that uh, that I voice everything out. Because I know a lot of people are going through this. I get a lot of private messages on, uh, on social media asking for, crying out for help, and I don't even know how to help them. I don't know how to comfort them, I don't know how to help them. I'm, I'm not in a position, actually, because I really don't know how. So it's also a blessing that both lights here. I uh, could just maybe try to find a way to make them to make them call the hot tank. And um, I hope I can actually make a change or help inspire people or help people or make them know 
that there are people willing to help them and get over what they're doing or what they're going through. Um, may we call on one of our dear friends, Ms. Nicole Essential.